A lot of 9mm handguns exist right now, and to be fair, a lot of them are good. But for a gun to stand out in such a crowded and stacked segment, it has to be really, really good. And guess what? I think I found some of the 9mm that could define the market next year. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45, and today I am going to give a rundown of the 9mm handguns, which, in my assessment, have the potential to make it big this 2025. But first, let me do this quick plug. Hit the like and subscribe button. You can see all those buttons below this video. I know it feels like a hassle, but those simple clicks mean a lot for my channel. Now, let's get back to the good stuff. Smith & Wesson Performance Center M&P9 Carry Comp Series. I need to be clear. Two pistols are included in this brand new Smith & Wesson lineup. The first one is a 4-inch Shield Plus, and the other is the M&P 2.0 with a 4.22-inch barrel equipped. Now, the M&P 2.0 has two offerings. One has a metal frame, and the other is a polymer. So why did I include these pistols on this list? Well, what made them distinct from their original models is that these guns have been integrated with quote-unquote power ports. That's what Smith & Wesson calls the compensator. You can see the ports at the 12 o'clock position of the guns, and what they do is to divert gas upward which, of course, reduces their felt recoil. Of course, this is me saying that these guns can run fast and accurately. In terms of capacity, you won't find any of these 9mm pistols lacking. The compensated Shield Plus ships with 10, 13, and 15 round mags. Meanwhile, both the polymer and metal M&P 2.0 guns include 15 and 17 rounds on the package. All of the Carry Comp Series pistols have tritium front sights and blacked-out rear sights. Needless to say, their slides are optics-ready too. Speaking of, their slides have tough-looking serrations on the front and rear, and they have been treated with an Armor Knight finish so that they are extremely hard to wear. Even though these guns are awesome, they are still sub-thousand dollar pistols, with the Shield Plus Carry Comp having an asking price of only $649. The most expensive is the metal M&P 2.0 Carry Comp, which is $999. Yep, that's technically sub-$1,000. Heckler & Coke CC9 The micro-compact segment won't subside anytime soon. It's a growing niche, as a matter of fact, now that we have newer options for these small yet high-capacity guns. Even the likes of HK had to join the fray by introducing the CC9. It's a micro-compact 9mm and is essentially tested under the same standards as other duty and tactical pistols of the gunmaker. It has a standard capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds on its flush fit mag, so it's still a good pick for states with ammo restrictions. But at the same time, it comes with an extended clip that shoots up 12 plus 1 rounds of 9mm. Another remarkable feature of the gun is its optics-ready design, which is a huge check. This means that you can toss a red or green dot to it, as long as it's compatible with the RMSC 407K footprint. I know that an OR slide isn't new, but still it gives the CC9 the ability to compete against more popular players like the Hellcat OSP or Glock 43X MOS. Surely you can also run this pistol without a red dot. I am quite certain that anyone can get used to its tritium front and blacked out serrated rear sights. After all, this is a familiar setup and works well for both low light and bright conditions. The grip is nice, as it's sufficiently textured for a secure grip, and it's a bit tall at 4.6 inches, so with an extended mag, it's not impossible to do a full three-finger grip on it. Still, it's very concealable. It's only 6 inches long and less than an inch wide. The gun is so slim and compact that you can carry it without the thing printing on your clothes. Hey, the CC9 comes with backstraps too. Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp OSP I have zero doubt about the Hellcat Pro Comp OSP. It will make it big in 2025, and perhaps it could really dominate the concealed carry 9mm market. This thing requires no introduction. It's a new gun, but it's a spawn of the original Hellcat that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the SIG P365. The difference between this and its predecessors is, of course, the presence of an integral compensator for diverting gas upward through a port on its slide, which in turn reduces recoil and muzzle flip. You know, the standard yada yada of a compensated gun. But heck, the compensator of the Hellcat Pro Comp OSP works effectively, so that's all good for me. 
It's also worth noting that behind its compensator is a front sight. This setup makes sense so that there would be no obstructions in the sight picture. But yes, it did shorten the sight radius of the gun. So aside from the compensator, the Hellcat Pro Comp OSP retained all the beloved features of the original Hellcat Pro, such as its U-notch rear sight system and tritium front post, Picatinny accessory rail, and the slide cut for RMSC pattern optics footprint. It also ships with a 15-round and 17-round mags. Sig Sauer P320 X5 SVG The P320 is one of my favorite Sig Sauer guns of all time. Anyone who has tried using the pistol knows exactly how good its ergonomics are, its reliability, and even its durability. Hence, a lot were glad that SIG repackaged the P320 as a competition-ready steel frame gun. This thing right now weighs about 50 ounces, making it a heavy full-size 9mm. But with the added weight comes the assurance that it doesn't have an awful recoil or muzzle flip. It's also worth noting that the dimensions of the P320X5 SVG are quite the same as your typical 1911 pistol. It stretches up to 8.5 inches long, which means that it has a longer sight radius and more accurate performance. Much of its weight is due to the amount of materials used in its construction. It's obviously beefy and has no obvious weak or stress points. It has a 5-inch bull barrel, allowing it to optimize the ballistic capabilities of any 9mm round you fire from it. It also has a rugged SXG grip module, which is the key selling point of the brand new P320. Unlike standard polymer or tungsten-infused options, this module provides significant heft and rigidity, which of course improves its control, reduces its felt recoil, and supports faster follow-up shots by maintaining consistent alignment of sights after firing. It also comes with an extended beaver tail and flat face trigger. By the way, both its frame and slide have bead-blasted finish on them for that extra toughness and aesthetics. The cherry on the top is the G10 LOK grip panels that let you grip the gun securely, even under stress. And if it matters, then yes, the slide of the P320X5 is milled for red dots. It's a complete package, worthy of its asking price of the $1,800. CZ Shadow 2 Target I am definitely certain that Shadow 2 Target will have all the means to dominate the 9mm market in the coming years, thanks to the solid reputation that Shadow 2 has built over the years. Plus, the Shadow 2 Target is built for bullseye matches. We don't see that much here in the US, but with the Shadow 2 Target, it could get a resurgence. The new Target pistol is awesome in a lot of ways. Even its aggressive look, which is paired with a black and red colorway, really makes the pistol stand out. There are two formats for this gun, so you can buy it with either a 5-inch or 6-inch barrel equipped. With a 5-inch model, the gun spans about 8.5 inches long, and with a 6-inch barrel, it becomes 9.8 inches long. Obviously, the Shadow 2 target is bigger than other full-size pistols, which of course added extra ounces to its heft. It should be between 43 to 45 ounces, depending on the format you pick. But yeah, the heavier this pistol is, the better. This means that it can eat recoil and keep the gun as flat shooting as possible. It should not be difficult to zero, and with its long sight radius and LPA target sights, I expect that this gun will be extremely accurate to the point that it feels like cheating. The slide profile is also distinct, with the serrations being effective enough for the positive operation of the slide itself. It even has a five-way adjustable flat trigger which you can also adjust for its over-travel and pull position. This gun is extremely accurate, and with the fact that it has a mounting interface just below the front of the frame where you can add weights, you can really customize how the Shadow 2 target will perform on the range. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Just press all the buttons. Those little clicks are free, but they help the channel a lot. Stay sharp, stay safe, and remember, it's not just about the shot, it's about mastering the craft. Until next time, lock and load.